Hi, this is Brian from Paradise Arcade Shop. I'm about to show you what happens when Susan leaves me home alone and uh, I start playing. Actually, uh, we have had some questions about twisting on the wires on our sticks and whether it'll cause them to fail over time, and it will. Um, the lit sticks, if you spin the joystick enough, you can eventually pop the wires off and it can be a problem. And so we've had some people ask about solutions for commercial applications or they've just got kids like mine that uh, twist, pull, and, and prod everything. So, I took Susan's drill. This actually isn't my drill. This is only a 9.6. I don't play with 9.6, but... Um, and I've connected three LEDs here. Um, I've got a red, a, well, an orange, it looks like a green, and a, and a white down here. And then what I've done is I've taken uh, this nice little device that we have here. Works great, and what it does is it allows rotating contacts, uh, it allows contacts to rotate relative to each other. So one of the fun things about I always loved about engineering is going out and finding mechanisms from other industries that you can use uh, when we used to design actually um, things like cranial clamp instruments we'd go and pull all of the uh, mechanisms from Home Depot we could find that were closely applicable and then modify adjust and use those for inspiration but this is just a direct use of something from another industry these are used in things like windmills or other applications where you have to have rotating uh, circuits you have to have rotation go through circuits so the perfect thing for our joysticks. Now what we can do here is, so I have this little device, it allows the wires to twist. And actually with this guy, you can go full speed on the drill and you can see that we don't lose continuity at all here. So I think this will work for most people's needs. Um, you notice the wires aren't getting twisted here. The only thing that we're trying to figure out is whether or not we want to have this flange or no flange on there. Um, you can tie this, these wires down and just leave them hanging like this and then it'll allow some twisting but you can see that the movement goes on there. That's one solution. The wires won't twist but there's some movement. Um, or if we just hold it here at the base, you can see how they're able to twist and uh, they're able to rotate quite readily without much movement on the uh, actual device. So at this point, uh, these should be available sometime in the next four to six weeks. Uh, there'll be an add-on for the lit joysticks. These aren't a cheap uh, little device. We haven't done the pricing on them, and we're going to be able to get significantly under what most retail prices are on these by ordering a large bulk of them. Um, but just to give you an idea, I mean, we won't be near this. The uh, typical retail price on these is about sixty dollars uh, for this little guy. So we'll be uh, uh, certainly much lower than that. It'll be cheaper than a uh, cheaper than a typical JLF, but we don't know how cheap we're going to be able to get it. And what we're doing is working with the manufacturer on trying to get a bulk version. One last thing is this does allow for six connections through here, so you can do RGB control. You can actually do RGB control with separate grounds going to each of your chips. So if you have any questions, again, this is Brian with Paradise Arcade Shop. Please email us. Um, hit us up at sales at paradiseArcadeShop.com, and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you, and have a great day.